so as the title says front fog light bulb replacement on a Ford Mondeo Mark V by the way this is a 2018 model Remove the bumper. Now all we've got to do is change the fog light bulb. I don't know what all the fuss is about. Actually, I didn't really remove the bumper just to change the fog light bulb. Although you'll probably come close to removing the bumper to do the job. But the reason this bumper is off this car is because the taxi driver was complaining of coolant loss on his car. He didn't actually complain about smashing the car underneath and busting the radiator though. Let me show you, this driver has hit the lower passenger front of the car on the ground. I don't know what the hell he's hit, but he's put a bloody great hole in this. Good morning, Monica. Hello, love the hat. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, that was alright, wasn't it? Anyway, where was I? Right, yeah. He's put, he's put a hole in his lower radiator tray and buckled it all out of shape. And in doing so, he's trashed the radiator. The coolant was literally running out of here. So obviously that impact has, has fractured this and caused the leak. And I can tell you, fitting a radiator on one of these cars is no laughing matter. Before I carry on, let me just get one little thing cleared up. If you can hear like a humming in the audio, it's not nothing to do with my microphone. My microphone is good. It is that heater. There is a big fan in that heater blowing hot air because it's really cold in here. So I put the heater on. Unfortunately, it messes with the audio, but I'm not switching it off. That, that noise is just one of my pet hates but I'm going to have to put up with it today because it's cold. All right, let's go. So the question is, if you want to change your daytime running light LED or the fog light bulb, you can't take this lamp unit out from that outside way. You've got to get behind it. If you had to change your daytime running light, there's an LED in this unit. It's two Torx 20s. This unit will come off and you just replace this as one unit. This fog light, however, is just an ordinary halogen bulb. If you unclip the plug connector, which don't come off too easily, get that out of the way, then all you've got to do is twist this anti-clockwise and it will pop out. And these are, what are they? H11 12 volt 55 watt. Whatever. I'm refitting the old bulb because there's actually nothing wrong with it. That just pops in there and back on, no problem. The question is, to change that with a bumper on the car, how would you go about it? You can't take the driver side rear lights liner out to get to it because the washer bottle's in the way. You could, if you wanted to, remove this lower radiator tray. You see, if you wanted to remove this lower tray, there's about one, two, there's five seven mil screws here. There's another three seven mil screws holding this outer part of the tray onto the inner wheel arch. There are four Torx 30 screws which would have to come out. And on these 2018 models, rather than having four clips you've got to knock out, there's just two clips we'd pull out of your trim tool. Then this panel will come off. I've never had to change one yet, but I have wondered what's the best way to go about it. I'm thinking possibly taking the under tray off, but not everybody wants to do that. Or would it be the same as changing the headlight bulb by taking the bumper corner down? So I'm going to stick the bumper back on and see if you can get to them just by pulling the bumper corner away. It's funny, you know, I'm doing this video in reverse. There's a reason for that. I actually had it all in pieces before I had the brilliant idea of making the video and I'm too bloody lazy to put it back together to take it apart again. So you just have to play it in reverse. That's all I can say. Right then, 
I've just put this bumper on temporarily so I can take it off again. Underneath the bumper on this trim panel, there's two of these black poppers. You've just got to pull them out. You're best now to turn the wheel all the way to the left if you're doing the driver's side. There'll be a further three of these plastic clips which sit inside this part of the bumper, this lower half of the bumper. So you have to get your trim tool in there and pop them all out. Okay, this bit's important because you've got to pull this part of the bumper away from the wing. Now if you try and grab it and pull it, you might find it might not come away. There's a frigging reason for that because there is a stupid clip which goes up here from the bumper into the wing. So I'm going to pull this off and I'm going to show you where it is and how to get at it easily. The reason I said turn the wheel in is so you can get your hand in here and pull the wheel arch line around like that. Then you can get your hand under here and you can pull this clip out. Once that clip is out, you can grab hold of this bumper and just give it a pull and it will come off like that. Now the clip in question, it goes from underneath the bumper obviously, through this little hole and into the wing. And I'll show you this clip. You see this stupid little clip? Well put it this way, when you get your hand under the wheel arch, you get hold of this and there's, there's actually a little thread on it. So if that bit of the clip is being held by the wing, you turn this anti-clockwise and it will unscrew. And once it's unscrewed, you then just pull it and it will come out of the wing. And obviously, I would never put this back in because you don't actually need it. It can go in the bin. So little clip, sayonara. On the top edge of your bumper, on the outer bits by the headlights, there's a clip either side you need to take out. There are four of these little smaller clips, which if you prise up with a trim tool, the inner part, then you can pop the outer part out. And there's three screws you can take out with a flat bladed screwdriver. This top trim panel should all be flappy now. Now that all the fixings along this top edge are undone, you can pull this top edge out it will give you a bit more le leverage. So, I can actually confirm, if you pull the bumper corner away, you can get your hand in there and replace the fog light bulb and the daytime running light LED. Even if you wanted to replace the whole fog light unit itself, it's held in by half a dozen 7mm little bolts. You can undo them from this position here and take your whole fog light out. However, on these 2018 Mondeos, where the headlight used to be held in by two flat screws, they've now changed them to 8mm bolts. Well, you've got an 8mm bolt here, which you'll have to unscrew. And just behind this flappy panel on the inner wing, there's another 10mm bolt, which you've got to undo. There. If you undo all the clips this side, the same as you've done that side, I'll show you what you can do. You can now get hold of the whole bumper, and the whole thing and tilt forward. See look, I can almost fit my, I actually, I actually can fit my head in there. Woo! <laughs> so the last thing holding this headlight in is a popper just at the base of the lamp unit. If you get hold of your trim tool in there, you can just prise that out and that's it. Now you can literally pull your headlight out a little bit and you can change the bulb from this position. Obviously, if you were just changing a headlight bulb, you'd only pull the bumper corner away. Then you can get your hand in there, get the rubber boot off, and change your bulb. But if you wanted to change the actual headlight, you'd have to pull the bumper forward, because one corner is not enough to get the headlight out. But once your wiring plug's disconnected, you can take this right out. And obviously, to change your H7 bulb, you'll just pull the wiring connector off, which can be a bit tight to get off. Then you can just push the wire down and across, and it will pop off. Then your bulb will just come straight out. Notice the little tab on the bulb. It only fits in one way, so don't get it wrong. There's a little cutout inside there where the tab fits, so you can't really get it wrong if you're looking what you're doing. Once that's in, flick your spring clip back over and plug your wires back on. And don't forget to put your rubber boot back on. 
otherwise water and dampness is going to get in your head like. Right, so I'll slot this back in, put our plug connector back on, don't forget that. And it will literally slide back in. Make sure it's flush with the wing and that the pop at the bottom of the headlight is popped into its locator. If you want to put this bumper back on, I suggest sliding it onto the top first, lifting that little tray up and sliding the bumper underneath this top tray, like that. Then make sure the bumper's tucked in around the base of the headlight. Just lift this bumper up level with the wing and it will, it will more or less go into position and then just slap it back into place. You can refit your two bolts, your 8mm on your headlight and then bolt your 10mm bolt back up. Then stick all your plastic trim clips back into place and refit your free self-tapping screws. <laughs> and remember to fit all your plastic trim clips inside the wheel arch and underneath. So, the conclusion to my front fog light bulb replacement on a Mark V Mondeo is... I actually like making arse about face videos. I reckon I should do some more of them. <laughs> anyway, seriously, these front fog light bulbs, I did, I did have to wonder, because this is the first one I've actually ever had to change. And I do have to wonder, it's quite a job to change one. You're not, if you're not the type of person who does, does anything mechanical, you're not gonna do this. You're gonna have to take it to Ford or to a garage. And if you take it to a place like Halfords here in England, they're not going to touch it because they're not going to pull your, your bumper away because they're going to be too worried about damaging your paintwork. I will say, however, the paintwork on these cars, you can, you can pull these bumpers and twist them about a bit and the paint won't crack. So it's good flexible paint. But yeah, you can change the front fog light bulb just by pulling the corner of the bumper away. As far as the headlight goes, They've made it harder. What are they thinking? Before, you only needed a trim tool and a flat screwdriver and you could do the job. Now, flipping heck, now you need a flat screwdriver, a trim tool, a ratchet, a bar, an 8mm socket and a 10mm socket. And if you wanted to remove the headlight completely from the car, you won't, just having one corner of the bumper away is not enough. You're not going to get enough leverage in it. You're going to have to undo the, the other side of the bumper and pull the whole front down. Now, obviously, it's not too, too much of a problem. Once you've done a few, they become quite easy. There are people out there who can change these headlight bulbs with a pair of long nose pliers. They can just get the cover off from behind. But I guess it will take a bit of uh, time and skill to get the knack of doing that. I can't do that. I'd rather just take the, uh, the headlight or well, the bumper off. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to know that you can get the fog light bulb replaced just by pulling the bumper corner away. The phone's ringing, I've got to go. So till the next time guys, see ya.